Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about metric maps. Especially in this video, we are considering about 1 to 50,000 metric maps. As you all know, maps can be defined as a geographic representation of the physical and cultural landscape of a portion of the earth. Or you can say maps are models of the reality. So basically for the easy of the study, maps have been divided into two sections as topographic maps and thematic map. Among these two types, today we are considering about topographic maps. Topographic maps are a series of maps characterized by large-scale details, quantitative representation of relief, hydrological features, land use, transports, etc. When considering about topographic maps in Sri Lanka, there are main two series of maps. First complete topography map series for the country was 1 inch to 1 mile map series. After 1970s, government of Sri Lanka decided to adopt the metric system. As a result of it, new map series was prepared. It is 1 to 50,000 series of maps. The map projection adopted for Sri Lanka is the transverse Mercator projection with the central meridian through the Pidurutha Lagala. According to metric series 1 to 50,000, the whole country is covered up with 92 sheets of topographic map. Each map is 50 cm in width and 80 cm in length. It covers an area of 1000 km square. So, let's talk about the main components of metric map. In here, I have represent a thematic map with main components. Basically, each map contains direction, scale and legend. Direction is useful to find the location of a particular place. When we talk about direction, we can identify three types of nodes on a map. Grid north is represented through a triangular arrowhead, while true north is represented with a star. Magnetic north of the earth is shown by a part of an arrow. The next important component of a map is the scale. Scale is the relationship between the map distance and the ground distance. The relation is defined as a proportion when a distance on a map and the corresponding distance on the ground. The next important element is the legend. When considering about the metric map, they have a unique conventional signs. Legend is the source, described map. Basically, the contour lines are used to represent relief features. The distance between the contour lines and the pattern or the shape of the contour line reveals the shape of the landscape. If you study this diagram, picture 1, it represents the contour lines which are drawn in two dimensional. The second picture shows the same relief features in three dimensions. Here is a part of a metric map. According to this metric map, topographic features like valley, conical hill, mountain range, gap, slopes, etc. are represented. Moreover, this picture shows contour lines patterns and their real features. So it is clear by experience of referring to these contour lines, you can get a clear idea about the relief feature. Apart from contour lines, other relief features related to coastal areas also represented in maps. This part is extracted from Point Pedro map. This is Jaffna Peninsula and here are some islands and points. Apart from geographical features, vegetation cover and other cultural features also represented in metric maps. 
This picture shows you the conventional signs reserved for vegetation. Paddy cultivation is represented with green color. Garden lands are represented with yellow color. Tea, rubber, coconut, other plantations have different signs with a yellow background. Marshes, mangroves, woodland, forest, grasslands and channels are represented with the different signs with a white background. Apart from geographical features, vegetation cover and other cultural features also represented in metric maps. This picture shows you the conventional signs reserved for vegetation. Paddy cultivation is represented with green color. Garden lands are represented with yellow color. Tea, rubber, coconut, other plantations have different signs with a yellow background. Marshes, mangroves, woodland, forest, grasslands and channels are represented with the different signs with a white background. This is a part of topographic map of Kalutar area. You can see the special buildings, roads, built up areas and schools etc. More cultural features can be seen here. A part of Galigamo metric map is presented here. You can clearly see the conventional signs represented on the map. These signs are useful to analyze data and get a clear idea of a particular area. So now, let's try to identify the conventional signs given here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel. To get latest updates, press the bell icon below.